Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today Apple has released iOS 13.7. This is a big surprise when Apple released beta one of iOS 13.7. We were like shocked because we all thought that Apple was done with releasing betas to iOS 13 because of course iOS 14 is just around the corner and is very close to being released to the public. But again, here we have iOS 13.7. So in this video, we're going to take a look at all that is new on iOS 13.7. So starting off with the size of iOS 13.7, if you're installing this update on your device, you will notice quite a big update. If you have one of the newer devices, expect the update to be around four, so three to four gigs of update on newer devices and two to three on older devices. But again, this is quite big. So for an update that is quite minor, doesn't have that many changes, that will be quite a huge update. The main reason for the release of iOS 13.7 are exposure notifications. Now that's a separate section on the settings app. You open the settings app and you will see right here exposure notifications and you will be able to turn them on directly from here. So basically iOS 13.7 will let you opt in on this system without having a third party app installed on your device. So you don't need any app to have downloaded and installed on your device in order to use of course exposure notifications but these will be available of course depending on the support from your local public health system so just keep that in mind when trying to use exposure notifications on your device now of course alongside with this feature there are bug fixes and improvements as always with every new update on ios 13.7 you will find a ton of bug fixes and improvements under the hood now i have used this device on ios 13.7 for a few days now and it is really really good it's very very stable and of course you can expect that with ios 13.7 now here i did a geekbench like test here and the score came up really good here on the iphone 7 it's very close to ios 13.6.1 which was the previous ios version that i had installed on this device so it's very very close like a point or two higher and lower so basically the same this performance is really, really great. Very, very stable. So you won't notice any like glitches or of course, any like hangs or stuff like that. Of course, you can expect that it's 13.7 now and Apple had quite a lot of time to polish this software. So it is really, really good and very stable. As far as battery life goes, it is great. On iOS 13.7, you will have great battery life. It's not a huge upgrade from iOS 13.6.1, but it's really, really good. Now I've used it, as I said, for a couple of days with a beta, of course, of iOS 13.7, and it was really, really good. So expect a very, very stable battery life on your device. Now, what I've noticed here is a drop here on the maximum capacity. Once I installed this update, it went down, I believe like two points. The last time I took a look at it, it was like probably like a week ago or maybe like 10 days. It was at 82 and now is at 80. So that what I have noticed here, despite that battery life is really, really great. So now we're talking whether you should update or not to this software. Of course you should. This is a really good update. And if you're on iOS 13, always make sure that you're on the latest software, on the latest version of iOS 13. Of course, that's the best option. You will have all the bug fixes, all the improvements and all that. So if you're running your device on iOS 13, make sure you go ahead and update to iOS 13.7. And it is really, really good. And of course, very stable, a very stable update for your iPhone. iOS 13.7 is probably the last big update to iOS 13. I don't believe we will see any other big update like 13.8 to iOS 13 as we have iOS 14 just around the corner. Probably the future, we will see some like minor updates, 7.13.7.1 or something like that. Of course, if any bug or like anything needs to be fixed, we will probably see that in the future. But as iOS 14 supports all the same devices as iOS 13, I don't believe we will see any more like updates to iOS 13. So iOS 14 is just around the corner and expected to be released in September, I really believe as the Apple Watch, the new Apple Watch is being released on September, they have to release iOS 14 before the release 
of watch OS 7 with the watch series 6 so that's what I expect to happen so iOS 14 will be here very very soon so that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video this is iOS 13.7 the last update I believe to iOS 13 before iOS 14 gets released to the public thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys on the next one